Hello there everybody and welcome back to what's going to be episode 7 of my Empire of Man series for Songs of Six. Last episode we managed to get ourselves a little bit of a clay pit going here and I also managed to create pottery. So at this point this is going to be a slow burn where we're starting out slow here but the biggest issue right now is yet again we need more people. We don't have enough population and we really have to change something about that. So more population is achieved by getting your people more more services, more fulfillment in general. So what can we do here? So we could go for a stage. Don't know. Is that is that something that I wanna do? I don't The brewery sounds more like like it. What's that? Gem mine and Scythalon mine. Okay. It's mining technologies. Okay, well, I'm going to unlock the brewery because I feel like that's a good thing to go for. And the metal smeltering. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, no. Not yet. So, what does the brewer refine, actually? <clears throat> So, turns pottery, coal, and grain into drink. Okay. Can be upgraded to work with fruit instead of grain. Well, I think we can quite easily use grain then. I haven't put up a bakery yet, but I did set up a grain farm. So, we could definitely do something there. So, let's use the grain for... Or something else, then. I really like that idea. Okay, so we are going to have a new... Let's see, what happens if I just expand those? How does that work? Okay, I'll just try that, you know. I'm gonna regret it, though, because <laughs> I don't have the necessary farmers to pull that off for real, but... Eh. You know, we gotta have some pro some projects there. Messages. Forgotten. Ah. Okay. It's a new menu. I haven't seen that yet. Capital. Battle. World. That's us. Our little town here. It's the wiki sort of thing. And it's the army. Okay. Ugh. No migration. No migration. It's really bad. I really gotta think about where we're going to store our grain then. <clears throat> Makes me think that probably I don't even want to store my grain in a long in a longer perspective in this little uh, storehouse here. But instead bring that grain directly to the refiners because that's one of those uh, foodstuffs that you can't consume directly. So why even bother storing it at this other barn? So how's the yearly production of two people here uh, in, the, in the quarry? 17 so far. That's not really much, isn't it? And over here we produced 14 this year. Also not too much. But well. We gotta wait until we have the necessary workload available. Right now I don't even have workers to finish the farming business. It's a little bit sad, isn't it? Just to, uh, decided to, to make that uh, start larger. Wait a sec, so here... Is there some grain somewhere else? Is that really all the grain on this map? It's cotton and some wild veggie. Ah, here, there's some grain. And the rest? It's all cotton. Oh, there's a huge one. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. So this is going to help us to kickstart the production. Okay, but another thing is troubling me. We need coal. 
and I don't have coal yet. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer project to get uh, alcohol production going. Can I actually already... Let's see. Cut all this. But do you need to um, consume that stuff in a different uh, kind of a building here? Tavern. Exactly. It requires drink to operate. Services tier 3. Just like I thought. So, let's see. Services. It's refining. Here. That's services. Okay, so to use alcohol, we have to use a lot of other things first. So, okay. Flat houses, canteens, and taverns. Why not? I mean, I'll have to aim my expansion somewhere. Okay. Let's see. I unlocked new stuff, where is it? So the canteen are a step up from eateries. They offer better tasting food and place to sit and socialize. They require coal to operate and they cost me pottery. Okay, that's one thing. And the flat houses, they need textiles. Textile production is going to be another huge beast that we're going to tackle soon as well. So, well, Long story short, we definitely need that coal mine. That's uh, something that I can't... Uh, that I can't avoid at any, uh, at any point. Okay, so we're going to create a coal mine next. I'm probably going to shut down the stone mine for the time being. I really built the stone mine mostly to, to have have it done, you know. Here we go. Looks like this is going to be the mine that we're going to utilize much more. There we go, 50% efficiency. Oh, come on. 12 of uh, 11. We need 11. And we have 11 metal and we need 12. That's That's mean. Okay, so let's uh, let's unassign the people from the stone mine. We don't need that this desperately. And this frees up some workers to get the job done here as well. <clears throat> Although I gotta admit, it bothers me a teeny tiny bit that we now got one unit of metal too little or too few. To this, whatever. Grandma ain't strong in me today. Okay. And so we're slowly clearing out the, the 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 stone that's lying around here in the vicinity. But I need that as a sales good. How is the hunter going, actually? Yeah, his food production last year was 572. Okay. Not bad, actually. Not too bad, actually. So here we got 12 animals in this one, and in this one we got 10. Okay. So yeah, we're slowly going to expand our livestock here. I mean, if I want to expand aggressively in my livestocks, I just need I just need to um, import some, but I'm okay with that slow uh, progression there. But I got the feeling as if we were producing not enough food, but maybe that's just me. I mean, the diagrams they they tell me otherwise, but let's see. Well, well, at least the income is uh, rolling in quite decently. There we go. 
Stone is turning into a real big uh, industry here, actually. Can't wait for the refiners to uh, show up here as well. But, well, well. It's quite some time until we get there. So we'll need cotton here as well. You know what? This is going to keep us busy here for a while. So let's plot down another warehouse. And I'll just put it down right next to this one. Here I'm going to store textiles, mainly. So I got where? Where's the? Where's the tailor? Here's the tailor. <clears throat> so we're going to store clothing and textiles in this uh, new um, area there. At least that's the plan. Let's see how well we'll fare with that. Furniture is also stockpiling slowly. Nice. That's good news. So we're producing 4 units of pottery per day. Okay. 16 units of wood per day. Stone per day, of course. Oh, it's painstakingly slow getting ahead. But I also see no more migration towards my place here, sadly. I mean, all the service buildings are offering more service than we need, basically. We have the room for expansion, but we don't have any expansion anymore. That's a pity, but whatever. It's gonna come. I have the feeling as if migration is also bound to the, to the seasons. During the winter time, I haven't seen many uh, migrations happening yet. Whereas uh, in the in the nice seasons, was happening way more often. I mean, it would make sense at least. Maybe I'm just making this up. Who knows? So yeah, leather. I I'm gaining way more leather than I'm able to process here. Ugh, but you know, problem is not in the. Lies not in the ability to build more tailors or so. The, pro the problem lies in the amount of workforce here. <laughs> At least there's one person willing to get uh, into our to get towards our town. I always wonder if I should wait until more people stockpile up, or that's nonsense. Something that I haven't uh, found out yet. But at least. I got two odd jobbers that get the job done. Or at least I hope so. Well, where's the fulfillment? Not that good. So we could go do better at the clothing front, of course. Food. Well, I'm I'm at the I'm on the I'm well on the way, friends. Well, I could research the stages. That would definitely bring in some new benefits. Let's do this. Actually, this should be one of the cheapest ways of getting something new done. Guard post dungeon. <laughs> That's new stuff. Okay. So. Entertainment. Booth. Bandstand, medium stage, pavilion, grand stage. Okay. You can't upgrade that, okay. So, let's do this. It's going to need four workers, but I really think that this is going to benefit the town as a whole a lot. Oh, look, it's even looking nice. Right. Because I think with that extra service, and the people hear that we got music, they will surely come. I don't know. Cheap pub public relations. So I got four units of water table. Let's expand the pond a bit. 
I don't know where I'm missing workers now, honestly. But I hope that this will provide me some some attractional value. <laughs> okay, but we, I think, yeah, I, I've lost a tremendous amount of money out of my treasury. That means the, the necessary steel should, uh, the necessary metal should come in soon. Okay, so you know what, we're, we're just going to, to drop down the clay pit for now. And also the pottery. Because I just realized that we don't really need these buildings too desperately right now. There's a long, long way until I can really uh, utilize the effects of those for real. And therefore, well, let's just uh, look at it as, as something that we got done starving that's not good okay, probably somebody was starving because the place back there is too far away from food stuff you know we have to relocate service buildings a bit or spread them across the town okay but here's the next thing happening okay, cool now this means i'll need yet another warehouse Wait a sec, I'm not gonna put that next to the coal mine, that would be silly. No, we're going to put that somewhere over here, why not? Just wondering whether or not... Putting it down... Yeah, well... Let's just copy one of those. That's a little bit much just for it's a little bit of an overkill. But I can use it for other things then. If I don't need all the room there. Just uh, thought that, you know, all that storage space just for coal. But I'll be just using the rest of the warehouse for something else then. No B. Okay. Yeah, look at that. New people. So extra services always make the subjects happier. Always been like that. So I spent 750 points of knowledge and I've hit the maximum capacity here. So can I... Let's see. Scribe station. Shelf. Shelves increase the capacity. Don't they? No. Would a scribe station increase the capacity? Or could I even... No. Doesn't seem like I'm able to put up another scribe station here anyways. So, well, it's time for another library, but I really don't feel too happy with the idea of putting down a library into my, my Hamlet core, you know. But then again, well... Paper production will ultimately be happy in the vicinity of the wood production. That's, uh, that, that's one thing that I'm sure about. So we're going to build a new library here. A little bit more into that direction here. And it's going to be the stone library. <clears throat> I hope that was imp that was uh, impressive uh, sounding enough. So we're we're just going to go for a very similar layout but larger. The trick will be I'm going to use a large building. Let's see, but not going to staff it out from the get go as soon as I find it. Wait a sec, I should really use this way more. This is a way easier um, method of getting getting where I want to be. So, not the grand building, but the stone building. And this is going to be one of our first uh, real large-scale projects. Here we go. Should have walls, of course. 
So expand room over structures. No. Is that the command? That was the command, I think. Uh, funny thing is that I, I once did a tutorial about all this. Shrink room? Is that? Ah, yeah, that's... That's the method. There we go. Let's put down a couple of pillars to give this uh, building a bit more stability. But honestly, if I do pillars like these want a certain symmetry happening here. So let's see. That's better. Except for the fact that this won't be covering the last couple of... Uh... Well, okay. Then, for the sake of symmetry, we're going to use these useless ones. Don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. I have to do this. So there we go. So this is going to be a real, uh, a really huge project there. So there we go. But I'm doing this with the idea in mind that we're going to have. We're going to need expansions anyway, so so here this is not this is not symmetric, but no. Whatever, I'll just uh, I'll just live with that. There is a there's a certain amount of uh, asymmetry that I can live with. I'm just going to do this like that and. Okay, that's a huge project, but at the same time, I mean, I got so much stone here in this town. We we might as well use it for ourselves for good. I mean, even after I've cleared this area, all of the uh, of all its rock or um, <laughs> no, there's still a little. We can do so. Totally fine with how this is looking like. Ah, finally, the coal mine, the coal mine. Making me happy. So, at the same time, I really think that my dudes are all quite busy right now. <laughs> Let's drop down some extra wood cutting jobs. Mmm, beautiful, isn't it? This looking like uh, way more like civilization to me. Finally, no more savages. We're building with stone now. Okay. And slowly we get some more migration towards our sorry little uh, place here. It's also pretty nice. Okay, then. Workload 46%. Okay. Auto employee is getting the job done, I think. So, well, I'll make my life an easy one and just uh, just copy that thing here. But I really think we need we need another uh, tailor by now. It's not enough, and clothing is one of the easiest ways of making my subjects happier in general, and therefore. I'd really love to see that. I'd really love to see that scene. Like leather stockpile getting a little bit uh, more decimated, you know. Really got so much leather each year and we're not processing it uh, fast enough. Yay! So migration is working for me again. Superb. Okay, so now let's see. 16 workers it wants to employ there. Very 
least. Yeah. We're going to start with three. I know that we don't have anything to store this stuff at. Yet. So here we go. For now, I'll... I'll use this as an... Uh, a coal exclusive thing, but... It's not gonna stay like that. So here we got... The pottery warehouse, and I think this one... I had grain in mind for this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're preparing a real industry here. Can't wait to see this uh, in full action. I mean, the worst part is uh, for now done. I got a little bit of a stockpile of metal left for whatever project might cross my mind. I got the second tailor now in business. Hell yeah, this is good. This is also producing on the ro uh, on the proper recipe. Wonderful, wonderful. And now we got our coal mine going. Yeah, and just like that, this place is slowly transforming into a bustling town. I really love it. Really love how this game is working. So we're gonna need lot, lots and lots of stone in the future. I want to have stone roads. I want to you know, have stone cutting. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I want to get, get done here. So, that library. After spending so much time for the symmetry, it's hurting me a bit, but I'll have to stay strong now. In a couple of days, I'll be able to ignore it. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm accepting every single migrant that's coming our way. Because we really need that. Also... I'm considering a new farm here. Because, you know, people get hungry. So, let's drop down another fruit farm, I'd say. But maybe not now. It's really one one tough piece of uh, work to decide how many people you actually need in here. Okay, so let's let's just uh, not employ anybody here in that library yet. This is just made for for later usage. Yay! First units of coal. Wonderful. So we got pottery, we got coal, but we're lacking uh, workforce. Like seriously, there's no chance that I'll be able to get all that work done. No, no. We'll have to wait for that. For now, I'll be happy when I have enough people to get the pottery production rolling again, because I have shut down the clay pit as well a while ago oh yeah plus three but it's it's working out a lot better i'm pretty sure that our actors are definitely are definitely a part of the of the success there so this looks like this we could actually uh, work with another one isn't it let's see services Stages, yes, that's exactly what it means. People could use more entertainment, but you know what, people? That also means that we'll need a lot more, a lot more workers. Okay, I got nine workers left right now. But, hmm. Well, well. At least... Things are slowly working out in some way. How's the clothing actually going? That's one thing that I'm very, very interested in. Equipment. So we got... Current value plus 1.31. Does that mean that... 
I really have no clue how to read that. Does that mean that they have 1.3 units of clothing off the two sets of clothing that I have configured? But what does that 26 person mean then? Does that mean... Oh, maybe that means that this is a uh, 26 person of what these people actually would want. I think that's how I should be reading that. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Or people want way more than that. So times four... Our people would be happy with five suits of clothing. That would be the maximum fulfillment of this one. Yeah, I think that's how it's uh, supposed to be understood. Well, okay. I hope you guys find that helpful, as helpful as I do, while I'm breaking my noggin about these things. Um. I'd say with eight workers uh, spare, I'll be putting up the clay pit one more time, and the pottery is going to go on auto employ. There we go. I really feel as if we should go for that again. And another thing that I want to do here is this road. This road has to be made of stone. It was okay to have a dirt road at the beginning, but now that we're no longer just that flimsy little town, Christ, I kind of could place down the long uh, chain of commands here. Wow. I didn't expect that. So, here we go. And here we have full stone pathway from the mining area back there all the way back to our or to the storage where that stuff's supposed to be used at because i really think that's very very a very powerful way of increasing the efficiency of these uh, of these logistic pathways there we go more migration it's working also, I hope that with two tailors working, we might actually see a chance to supply our people with at least that uh, those two suits of clothing that they want to have, but who knows? Who knows? I actually love to see that our dudes are going crazy with building all that stuff. All right. So slowly we seem to yield, get ourselves some grain in here. So let's get that done as well. So I'll go for 50% grain and let's go for uh, 12 I had. So we go for four of these here and drink. That's drink, isn't it? Yes. There we go. Something like that, I thought. Here we go. Some distribution like that. And of course, place down the fetch order here to make sure that this warehouse is going to have the stuff. And we're rolling with auto employ. All right. Lovely. More people rolling in. So when's going to be the next title at 100? So, my dear friends, that's a lovely moment to say it's been a great episode. I thank you so much for watching. Drop your comments down below and next episode. Well, I haven't figured out yet what we're going to do next episode. Expanding for sure. I really need to uh, get that leather income down somehow. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what will what will happen in between. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up from my side. You know the drill. Have a good one, and see you soon. Bye-bye.